So hi, I'm Corey Struck with Bias uh, here at the AES New York, and we're going to be showing some of the new features in Peak 6. Uh, Peak 6 should be shipping at the end of this month, and if you have a version 5, it's going to be a great upgrade. One of the great new features in version 6 that I'm using a lot, and there we go, just stick that back there, is the playlist. Much like the old Peak 5 playlist, you can open up files. And uh, it's meant for CD mastering. A lot of people use it for editing together takes. Me being a, a mixing and mastering engineer, I use it a lot for mastering. So I'm going to take here a mix I have from Pro Tools, uh, split up song by song. I'm just going to add it in. I repeat five, you can add in regions. And one of the great things you can do now is you can say you have a, a track with multiple regions in it. You can split it inside the playlist as you're making your songs. So there's no need to pull multiple regions in. So uh, a lot of people who are doing multiple mixes in Pro Tools in one session will like this. DJs who are recording their sessions and putting together uh, you know, a, a comp CD can use this. There it is. You can zoom in and let's say right here you're not happy with the way this is set up. I can use this. to set the exact end point and out point to get it just right. I can tap on the next song, get everything set up right, so it makes it easy to put together your, your master CD. Like version 5, we have CD text in here. The nice version is it's going to be able to copy the name from the track, and you can add in all this information. Let's say that's fine. On the next one, I can copy from previous copy from the region track. So this makes it an easy way to quickly put together a master CD and peak. When you're done, I'm just going to burn my disc and it gives you options for a Redbook CD and if you want the entire disc to submit to a CD frames or CD sector boundaries. When I go to burn, it gives you all the features of verifying our, our new custom dithering in peak six which gives you our different bias dithers that we're adding in, as well as the original power dithers that Peak, six, uh, Peak 5 and earlier have always used. The, uh, the new DCAT dithering, or it's the dither cloning audio technology, is something new with version 6, and it gives you a way to uh, use dithers that are found in some other programs. And you can also customize it to your taste. So I can, I can preview the dither sound. Um, well, and hear what it's going to sound like with the dinner. So I can go through and sample it. In this environment, it's going to be tough to find out. So I think, I think that's OK. And if I had a CD, I would burn. You can also export out as AIF, ST2. You can, direct, you can import directly into iTunes or a DDP file set. It's not turned on on this demo machine. You can, you can pull the CD text in if I'm going to iTunes. You can export your playlist information in a pre-formatted worksheet. You can format your CD text and we can actually do a, uh, a print preview to see what it's going to look like. And this doesn't have much, but this gives you a new feature where in the older versions of Peak it gave you a different setup. This makes it a lot easier. Some of the other new features in Peak 6 are going to be the um, your options. There's a cache and RAM, which allows you to work from memory with all your with all your file editing. So instead of buffering to disk, it's going to buffer directly to memory, making a lot of your editing features a lot quicker. We've added another great new feature in Peak. Let me close this file out. For game designers and for sample editing, one of the great new features in Peak is our perpetual looping technology. So this is a, a female singing the Star Spangled Banner. I'm going to take this last note and I want to loop that. So I'm going to put some loop markers in there. Then I'm going to go up under DSP and the perpetual uh, looper. What I can do is a couple of quick settings. We're going to see uh, this is a female high voice, and we can preview. Sure. Yeah. 
So under DSP, the perpetual remover, a couple different settings. that are going to be difficult to loop and clean them up and make them so they have a better sound. <laughs> 